Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you an updated Chinning the Abyss guide with ranged combat dummies. So yeah, this is actually going to be an updated and better version of my previous guide. So first and foremost, this requires the Abyss mini quest complete, as we all know. And I also highly recommend you have at least 70 range. 92 prayer also helps for soul split. So yeah, for my equipment setup, I have red chinchampas. You don't need to use mechanized chinchampas, as it's barely better and it actually costs a lot more. If you're too cheap, then Great Chinchampas also work as an alternative. I believe someone tested it and it's not that much XP per hour less. Then you want an offhand range weapon, and preferably at least tier 70 or higher. You can maybe put Aftershock perk there, but it's pretty optional anyways. Then I have the full armado set, but you can use God Wars Dungeon 2 armor anyways if you don't like to use this. You don't really need augmented gear, unless it's for invention training, as the Abyss has pretty low HP anyways. The amulet I have is Amulet of Zelots because it does more damage with leech range strength compared to anguish. Alternatively, you can use blood necklace for additional healing, and that makes it pretty AFK as well. So the cape I have is skill cape or max cape. The surgeon's ring is the best ring to use here, but you can use any ring anyways. Then I have the uncharged god book, which is pretty optional. And yeah, finally the last thing I have is vampirism aura, or else you can bring penance or inspiration aura as part of your rotation. So for my inventory setup, I have two holy overloads. And then I bring a couple of super restores, which are replenishment potions. You can also bring enhanced Excalibur, which is optional for healing. And then finally, I would suggest you bring as many ranged combat dummies as possible. So each combat dummy gives you a total of 12.4k range XP at level 99 range. And it also saves Chinchampas, because you're constantly using abilities. Then I have Charming Imp, which is in my tool belt. For my prayers, I'm using Leech Range Strength, which does more damage than Anguish. Soul Split is optional, but if you have Vamp Aura, you don't really need it. Alright, so I'm just gonna get into my action bar. The first ability I have is Corruption Shot, which you can either unlock it from raids, or just buy the Codex for around 17 mil. It really 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 helps here, because of the AoE spread across the enemies in the Abyss. Then I have Ricochet, which can attract enemies close by. And then finally, the rest of my basic abilities are Needle Strike, Sacrifice, Fragmentation Shot, Binding Shot, and Piercing Shot. Tuska's Wrath does not work with Chins, so don't even bother putting it on your action bar. Now you don't really need any thresholds, but it's nice to use Snapshot and Rapid Fire once in a while. For the ultimates, you can either use Death's Witness, or else Deadshot which can instantly kill a pack of Abyss creatures. Alright so for my strategy, you want to stand where I'm standing. And when you're placing the ranged dummies, you want to still stand where you're standing as well. Then when you've already placed the dummies, you want to select the dummies as your main attack target. This will constantly spam attacks instead of delaying it. Now normally when you're auto-retaliating, it'll take a few seconds to select the target, because the target isn't always centered. With dummies however, there's no target selection needed, and you also save chinchampas as well. So yeah, placing the dummy will either be center north, or just northwest of you. You can only place one dummy at a time though. Now although you cannot use AoE abilities to damage the dummies, so yeah, that's why even with chinchampas, you can still damage nearby targets even if the dummy isn't being damaged. The thing is, chinchampas do actually damage dummies, but the AoE abilities using the Chinchampas will not. So each dummy lasts 5 full HP bars until it fully dies. Also, do not forget to renew your aggression every 10 minutes. So basically you just run to the opposite side of the direction where you previously ran. As for world hopping, there's a safe spot in the southwest corner. So the Abyss Lure, as many of you know, I hate to stress this out, but it happens a lot even nowadays. And the reason being is, cause no Abyss Guide really mentions it. I'm just gonna repeat what I previously said many times. So basically a random person will ask for your spot, or maybe buy it, right? But you cannot trade because you're in combat, and you're constantly being attacked by abyss creatures. Now this will then force you to enter the inner ring of the abyss, but there's no way to return to the outer ring of the abyss without actually leaving the abyss completely. So now you're giving them a hint that you're gonna return to the abyss right away, as soon as you accidentally enter the inner ring. So then what ends up happening is, they're gonna prepare to PK you, or maybe mob you with a bunch of friends at the same time, so you cannot escape. So in order to avoid this, if you're offered to leave the abyss for money, or whatever reason, then kindly say no. However, if personally you need to leave the abyss but want to come back, then make sure you want to turn off your private message, and turn off your clan chat, and maybe hop worlds if people are spying on you. Alright, so overall, I only tested 54 minutes, because I ran out of dummies. The recorder didn't record until 5 minutes into this test, and I used my aura as my timer. I got 936k range XP in the 54 minute test. So extrapolating this in a full hour, you get a little over 1 mil XP per hour with dummies. Now without combat dummies however, 
you'd get 720k XP per hour. You would then use 24 ranged combat dummies per hour. As for the Chinchampas, you'd use around 80 Chinchampas per hour. The East spot of the Abyss is actually lower XP per hour. So yeah, this is pretty much the best way to use ranged combat dummies. In comparison to Abyssal Demons, it's actually on par with Abyssal Demons, but slightly slower I think. It requires mechanized Chinchampas however. Abyssal Demons do profit pretty well actually. But then again, it's really hard to find a world compared to the Abyss. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask.